a Newport Hill climb. That's the hill. One count of one cylinder. Hey, I'm Dennis Gage, and welcome to my classic car. Well, this week we're in Newport, Indiana for the Newport Hill Climb. I shot this about 12 years ago. There just ain't nothing like it. Cars of all sorts running up this big hill. Kind of cold today, but they're hot cars, and it's going to be a fun time. Run fast. Love your book, and you look dashing today, I must say. Well, I try. <laughs> that is a cool car. A pacer! <laughs> that is a good looking champion, man. Thank you. There's just everything here. Larry, great to see you, man. Great to have you back, Dan. It's, it's been a while. It yes, it has. Doesn't seem like that long. No, but you know, time flies whether you're having fun yes. or not. Doesn't, doesn't really matter. <laughs> but it just keeps getting better. I mean, this is the most amazing event. There's so many unique vehicles that you it, don't see at car shows. It is the wildest array of vehicles. An unrestored, original, most of it bone stock. I mean, you got customs too, and you got people sure. who souped it up. People that say it's stock and they souped it up. Yes. <laughs> but they're all here to tackle the hill. They're all here to run the hill, and that's what it's all about. And that's what makes it, I think, so unique from most car shows where you just go and you park under a tree and get your launcher out and lie to everybody. You know, here, you're doing with the car what it was built to do, and that was run. Run and, and, and run and, hard. And run hard. And you get that sticker for your windshield. And you do get a And man, I have seen cars that have got 20 stickers on them. We've got a couple of guys who have only missed one hill climb in 48 years. Well, and you know, the picture, because this started in 1909, right? That was Am the correct? original Newport Hill climb. That picture is, I mean, it's priceless. These cars, people got together in 1909, they run up this hill, and it has just taken off, and you've never looked back. I mean, it just keeps going and going. And people love this event. They do. There's people who have been there for 20 years in the same spot <laughs> with their lawn chairs and their cooler. It's just, it's a great show. People are having a great time. The Lions Club has done a fantastic job bringing this back. And Lions Club does great things anyway. This is your fundraiser. I'm so glad you kept it going. It's been nine or 10 years since I've been here. I don't want it to be nine or 10 no. years again. We want you back next year. By golly, I just You're welcome come. every year. Hot dog, I love that. <laughs> we'll feed you. There, oh, <laughs> boy, I'm telling you, that pork and bees, oh, so yes, good. Yes, <laughs> Well, there's yes. some great cars. There's an old ambulance there. I got to show you. Let's go check them oh, out. That's All that. right. Well, Adam, so I'm, I'm rolling in this morning and coming down the street there, and, and the first thing I saw was actually this. It's a 53 Chrysler Windsor station wagon? What is it? Eight passenger limo. It was converted into an ambulance back in 53. Did it come from the factory as an eight passenger? Yes. What's the conversion part of it? They, they took this, they made it into an ambulance? Yes, it went from the factory to McClintock in Lansing, Michigan. Okay. They did conversions on various cars. They added the siren, the light, the removable B pillar on the passenger side. Okay and the stretcher. So you could use it as a limousine, or, or in three ambulance. minutes, you can change it into an oh, was, ambulance. Was that kind of their, 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 that, that was their, their, their promo? Their promo was in, in three, three minutes, in three it minutes, can be an ambulance. It can be an ambulance. <laughs> <laughs> Which is something everybody should have, I guess. Yes. I mean, this looks untouched in here, too. I mean, it's original interior and everything? Yes, all original on the interior. Wouldn't it have a bench seat to begin with? Yes, it has a, a full bench, and it has a secondary jump seat on the passenger side. The bench is removable and the jump seat is removable so that you could put the small driver's seat in and, and put the stretcher in. Okay, so you talked about this crazy door opening thing. Let's go look at that. Okay. I'll open the front door. Okay. Okay, so door one. Okay. All right, now you see it. <laughs> and now you don't. How does he do it, ladies and gentlemen? How does he do it? I can't believe that. Yes. <laughs> that's, that. That's a pretty complex mechanism there. It, you can hardly tell it's been removed. That's a really incredible job. Yes, it is. So, so do you still have the original engine in this baby? Yes, the original oh. power plant. Let's go look at that too. <laughs> I love the patina. <laughs> oh yeah, so wow. 
Flathead 6? Yes, the original Flathead 264 Spitfire. And she runs real smooth? And runs beautiful. No Runs kidding. beautiful, this drives like a dream. 53 Windsor, Chrysler Windsor. Beautiful, Adam. Thanks for bringing it out, man. Thank you much. JW, yeah. this is an amazing car. I saw you earlier, and I actually saw you go up the hill. It doesn't go up real fast. No. But it does fast. make it up there. It this does. is a 1910 brush? 1910 brush. There's so many crazy things about this car. First of all, it has a wooden chassis, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, that's crazy enough. But it has wooden axles. That's true. OK, why? <laughs> uh, their advertisement said that the wood made it more flexible and gave it a better ride. Coil springs were unique. They, yeah, they I mean, were, that, that was early yeah. use of coil, uh -huh. wasn't it? This was the cockpit. This was it. Yeah, that's all there was to it. Well, that's the, magneto, that the mag? magneto boxes. Uh, that, that's, tactical vibrator magneto. That was all there was. There were yeah. no gauges. That's, is that your? OK, this is a Presta light. Acetylene tank. Oh, so this had acetylene lights, but yeah, it wasn't. Acetylene lights, but with no generator. Wow. You used the tank. Chain drive to both wheels. Yeah, uh huh. But there is a differential between them. I see. I see. Uh huh. So what powered it? A little single cylinder. Holy cow! Uh, four inch bore, four inch stroke. It's the uh, combustion chambers, the ax, uh, the exhaust ports. Yeah. The water jacket, the cylinder. It's all cast into one cast. Can you fire it? Sure, sure. That's unbelievable. Is that running backwards? No, yes, it, it runs, runs backwards. It runs backwards. Allison P. Brush was the man that designed this car. His theory on it was that if you turned it the other way, the average right-handed man is less likely to break his arm. <laughs> yeah, you know, it was pretty slow. She's still running. Yeah, uh-huh. Oh, man. So you, do you run the hill with this a lot every year? Oh, uh, yeah, I've been up there every year since I got it. Huh. 1910 brush. Uh-huh. Wow. <laughs> wow. And hey, by the way, that's a great get up, too. Oh, my sister made that. <laughs> brush. <laughs> well, Abby, <laughs> I love Crosleys because they're just so weird. And this is a place to come if you want to see weird things. Yes. The Newport Hill Climb has got plenty of weird things. And when I was here, oh, I don't know, 11, 12 years ago or something like that, I did a Crosley, friend of yours, right? Brian. Uh, Brian, yeah, he had a, a station wagon. Yes. Yes. But you've got the Roadster. Yes. Which is totally cool. This is a 1950 Crosley. Hot shot. Hot shot, Crosley hot shot. Did it have this open hood or is this a mod? Yeah, this is original. This is how the hoods were. It's a latch hood with a key. And this is this is the Crosley power plant, right? Yes. Which is a four cylinder, how big? 26 and a half horsepower, 44 cubic inch. 26 and a half. The half matters. <laughs> and don't the you half forget. matters. You've got like 18 or 19 hill climb stickers. Has this thing been yes, up the hill Yes, it has hill been up the hill year? every year. The original owner, Arnold Nicker, um, I used to ride with him. He's basically like my grandpa figure. It's been my dream ever since I was could walk and talk to race up the hill. And so a couple of years ago, I was finally able to. So you've been riding this in, in this thing since dream. you were like. Born. <laughs> yeah. Now this is also much more luxurious than yes. your typical Crosley, right? I mean, are these original seat frames or no? Um, these are the original seat frames, but they were custom made in California with the new leather and everything. So I've never seen it without the leather. So to me, really, it is original. Really nice. That's the shifter for the thing? Yeah. Which is a really weird position. On the floor, weird. But coming straight out. And yep. there are three speeds three or four. Speed. And, and your your uh, ostrich uh, yes. <laughs> steering. Now the padded dash is not. It's wonderful. Uh, it's, 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 it's wonderful, one, but, but it is not. not stock. But the red face gauge is. Yes, all Crosleys are kind of known for those. So, I mean, this this is probably the coolest looking Crosley around. I mean, it's it's oh. very sporty, very you know spiffy looking. And that's not much of a bumper, by the way. Not at all. Of course, it's really not that much of a car. No. And if you get hit, not much weight is you know, behind you. Well, this thing is great. 1950 Crosley Hot Shot Hot Rod. Yeah. Abby, congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Beautiful. I love it. Well, now, Dean, this is something you don't see every day. A Plymouth pickup truck. 
I mean, they, yeah. they, they didn't make those for very long. They were really in production. I think 36, 37, and 38. And this no, is a 37. This is a 37. This truck was made in? Evansville. Evansville, Indiana. Yes. <laughs> it's like, it's a hometown truck. I love the headlight pockets on it. They're kind of floating out there. And single side mount, right? On the single. tire, single side It was side an mount. option to have a two. You really but could. I haven't found the other fender to put two of them on, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, and it's got the Plymouth logo everywhere. You got the hood ornament. You got the, the crest on the grill. You got it on the side mount here. You know, you get in here and you know, there it is between the two cases. Yeah. And by the way, that's a really pretty nice dash for a truck. Yeah, we uh, just found a glove box not too long ago. For not, it. I believe the Dodge trucks in the Plymouth use the same glove box door. They sure look the same. It's not quite color coordinated. <laughs> no, I'm a little colorblind, so we'll let to go with that. <laughs> what do you mean it's not color coordinated? It looks fine to me. <laughs> now, when they found it, was it was it in Indiana? Was it a? Yes, uh, they actually used it as a junk, at the junkyard to push cars around. You're with kidding it. me. And it, so it was no cream puff. Uh, no, <laughs> they had to cut a tree down that grew through the bed before they took it home. <laughs> so the, is the box original? But the new floorboard in, but the, the bed itself is original. And how so about the tailgate? That's an original. Because you know, I bet that's tough to find. I, they tell me the tailgate's worth as much as the truck is. <laughs> <laughs> is it powered by Plymouth? Yes. Well, let's go look at it. It's a 201 cubic inch, straight six, flathead. Single barrel. Man. I don't think there's anything on it we haven't worked on now. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's been gone through a yes, few times. Huh? It's trying to go up the hill as fast as we can make it go up the hill. Well, and I, one, two, three, four, you got five hill climb stickers yeah. there. So, man, oh man. It, you know, there's just no event quite as cool as this. I, I, I think it's one of the coolest things out there. I like it because it's old vehicles and they're running them. It's not just a show come up and everybody looks at them, everybody's driving them, they tear them up, they put them back together. Well, yeah, I mean, it's, there's, there's not a lot of polishing going on here. No, no, you see a lot of primer in the... Yeah, you see a lot of primer, you see a lot of original stuff, but I like that. I it tell is. you, 37 Plymouth, did they have a model name for it? it was PT-50. A PT-50. Wow, Plymouth PT-50. Dean, thanks for bringing Thank this you. thing. I love this. From Evansville, Indiana. <laughs> Dustin, we meet again yes in the same place no less so it was like at least nine years ago that yeah we were here, and that's the first time i met you yeah. you were just you were just a kid terrorizing the town yeah. with a 55 desoto yes and and it's this very 55 it looks a lot different now than it did nine a or few, ten years ago a few changes yes we started replacing a bunch of metal on it because there's no patch panels available for this car yeah, duh. so i had to make everything <laughs> it used to have the bumper guard's right here, and the bumper guard went right here, and it was a dome right mm, there. Yeah, right. So we made this whole piece out of one piece of metal, put extra teeth in it right here where the guards used to be. You just chopped the heck out of it. <clears throat> it's actually sunken down in the body. Oh, really? So, so you didn't really chop it, you just buried it? Conventionally, yeah, you cut the glass, but I couldn't find any extra glass so or anybody to You didn't to drop the glass down too, did the glass you? You dropped the glass down too? The windshield on the back window are three inches down into the body. I can't believe yeah. that. That's so amazing. the only filler in the whole chop is right back here where the back window used to be back here. Yep. The inside is not a lot different than it was uh, nine or ten years ago. Yeah, the seats are, didn't really do much with the seats. The door panels, I made the door panels about four years ago. Stock dash, besides when we dropped the windshield down, we had to take about an inch and a half out of the front of the dash mm, to yeah, yeah, kind yeah. of get the angle of the dangle right. And then back here, these are Packards, right? Yes, 56 Packards. But she's still called. High school, High school sweetheart. sweetheart. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. This is my old girl, and she always stuck with me, you know, a lot more than the other sweethearts did. <laughs> now, you were running the original Hemi back Yes. Then. Are you still? Yes. Let's see if it looks yeah. any different. Now, I haven't had the hood open in the past three weeks. I just brought it here to race. So, we've got, got mice under here or something? I don't know. Well, it might be a surprise. <laughs> well, it's not too that bad. be a surprise? Yeah. Yeah, she looks pretty much like she did back then. So what's the displacement on this? Is it 335? Or That's three? a 291. 291. Yeah, 55. One, one year only, right? Yes, 55 DeSoto only was 291. So, I mean, all those hill climb stickers, you've mm -hmm. gone up many times. You're going to go up today. Yeah. And this is just practice day. This is yeah. Monday. Yeah. Can, can I run up with you? Well, yeah. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah, you see, you see me and Lana right there, just jump on oh, in. Oh, my God, I'll do that. Yeah. That's a 55 DeSoto, looking better every time. I'll see you again in nine, 10 years and see what oh, it looks yeah. like then, okay? Oh, yeah, yeah, I might have an interior in it by then. Wow, what a concept. Yeah, well, you see, first car, never getting rid of it, so I'm not in a real big hurry. Oh, well. Yeah. The Newport Hill Climb, Newport, Indiana, since 1909. I'm digging it.